Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next video in the word automation series with UiPath. In the previous video of the series, we have seen that how exactly can I start the word automation? What are the prerequisites and the setups that are required to start your word automation journey? In case you haven't already watched that, I have put the links in the description for your reference. So let us see the agenda for this video. In this video, we are going to see how exactly I can write a text to a word file which is already there or in other words, how we can append the text. Next, we are also going to see how exactly can I create a new file with some default text. All of this by a step by step demonstration. So let's get started. I am back in my UiPath studio. This is the same solution which we have created for word automation and we have already added the uipart.word.activities. This we have added in the first video as we have seen that to start with any word automation, we require this package which is uipart.word.activities. Let me go back to the folder and you can see that in my folder, I have e data word file and I have a sample RPA doc which is there. So this is how the content looks like. I have some content which is available from Wikipedia. In the last video, we have read the text. Today, we are going to see how exactly I can write the text to an existing data. Okay, so as you can see, the last data is till user. Okay, I am back in my UiPath studio. So the first thing is you have to go to activities. To start with any word automation, the first thing which we would require is a word application scope. So just drag and drop the word application scope here. Now it will ask you, tell me the path of the document where you want to write. So for me, the path is here. So I just go here and copy this as a path, copy as path and paste it here. The other option is just click on this one and just browse the file from your location, which is this and hit open. So we can also create this one as a variable. This also we have seen in the previous video in case you haven't already watched. So please have a reference. Okay, so now I have the word application scope available here. Let me quickly check the properties and we are asking that if the file does not exist, just create it. Okay, now what is the task? I want to write some data to this file. Okay, so if I go back to the activities in the word, I just type here word, you would see in the app integration word, I have this couple of activities available and one of the activity is append text. So just drag and drop the append text here. What you would notice it is, first of all, it should be placed inside the word application. If I just place the append text outside, it won't work. And it will say that this activity is valid only inside the word application scope. Okay. So that is the first thing. Now append text, it is asking me that I already have a sample document and what is the text you want to append? Okay. So let's say, I just want to append this text that UiPath word automation with Mukesh. Okay. So this is a simple text which I want to append here. Now UiPath is asking me, do, a, do you want me to add a new line or not? Okay. Add a line before the text. By default, this checkbox is checked. So let us keep it to the default setting and see what happens. Let me hit a quick refresh. I'll go here. As you can see that my last line is data till user. I'll go back here and I say run the file. Okay. Now let us just wait for the robot to fire. Okay. So the execution is completed. Let me go back to the word file and you can see that the UiPath word automation with Mukesh is now printed here. Now let me just go and delete this again. I'll save this file. Now, you would have noticed that there is this checkbox. Now, what is this checkbox? If I just uncheck this one, what happens now? It will not add a new line before the text. Okay. Let us see what does mean. So I'll save this, go here and run the file. Again, the same automation, but I have unchecked the property. Now, when I have unchecked, it is just writing the text exactly after the last line, right? It is not hitting a new line. So when I say new line, it is just a enter. So as for your requirement, if you require a new line before the text, just tick this. If you don't want, just remove this, right? So a very easy activity, which is called append text. 
let us go to the property and you could see that it has only a single one which is called the text which is the text you want to append it is in the form of string and the other property is the new line which is nothing but this one right this one so if i uncheck it from here it goes and the same thing okay so only two properties text and this checkbox right so this was a scenario where the word file was already created and we want to write something now think of a scenario where you want to create your own word document and write it right so append text is working only when the file is already created but what if i want to create a new file and then i want to write something so that will also happen with these two activity only we just have to tweak some of the properties so let us see in the word application scope if you go to the properties you would notice that there is an activity which says create if not exist what it means this we have also explored in the previous video it simply means that if this word file is not available do you want ui part to create or not so as of now rp underscore sample is available here right so let us say that i have a requirement where i want to create a new file right and the name of the file should be new file and i want to write this text so it's absolutely simple instead of this path i just say here new file now what would happen the robot would go to d data word file and it would try to read the new file dot docs but if i go here the new file is not available so i am instructing ui path that you create the new file once this file is created i am telling ui path to append the line with this one now what would happen if i run this automation first it will go here i have instructed to create if not exist and then once created just write the text let me quickly save this go here and run the file we'll just wait for the execution execution is completed let us go back to the folder and you could see a new file dot docs is created okay if i just double click and open the file you could see the same text which we have instructed is available right ui path word automation with mukesh fine now a important point to remember here is that if i simply go and uncheck this option okay so i'll just go back to the folder again i'll delete this file new file is not available here and i am telling ui path not to create the file also and still i am telling it to append something now you have to very cautious of using this property now this file does not exist and we are trying to append it so if i try to run with this setup what would happen it would simply throw an exception okay so i have got an exception which says that the file does not exist right so the file was not available it was not able to read and it was not able to append as well right so it is very important if the file is not available you always have to click on this one right this will automatically create the file right all these three properties we have explained in detail in the first video which is available in description you can refer that okay so now i hope you totally understand that how exactly can i append the text how i can write the text how i can write the text to a new file okay so i would like to wrap this video here i hope you found this video insightful in the coming videos we are going to explore more and more activities which are associated with the word automation thank you for watching if you like this video subscribe to the channel and happy automation mm -hmm.